When working as a team, it can be hard to know how to bring everyone together, where to share information, or how to keep track of the conversation over time. That's where Teams and Channels come in. It's your space for collaboration in Microsoft Teams. A team is a broad group of people that work together to get something done, such as a major company initiative, specialized projects, or even just for fun. A channel is like a central hub for a specific area within the larger team where people can hold focused conversations. For example, you could create a team for an upcoming launch with a channel for design, marketing, or budget to bring together people from across your organization or even outside of it. Think of it as a dedicated workspace to host announcements, hold meetings, share updates, and find files and information. Here are a few tips to get teams and channels to work for you. After you create a team, you can add a channel. Add details and decide between a standard channel, a place that's visible to everyone in the team, or a private one, where only invited people can view it and have access. Once you're in a channel, create a post, choose the type you want, format it, and at mention an individual or the channel to get someone's attention. Then try adding an image or a file to increase participation. And when you're ready, post it. When someone shares a file, it will be found in the Files tab. With all relevant files organized in one central place, you no longer need to dig through emails, folders, or messages to find what you need. Teams and Channels gives you and your colleagues a space to share thoughts, organize information, and achieve more together, leading to more openness and inclusivity, so everyone can bring their best ideas to the table.